What are we living for? Are we living for things? Or are we living for the people and the animals and the future generations that we're sharing this place with? Because what I see everywhere I turn is people obsessed with how their lawns look, obsessed with how their house looks, obsessed with buying new things and having the latest, coolest gadget. You see this? Yes, I installed Bing. a little remote the other day Bing. to her vanities. Awesome. And it's really quite terrifying because every day there is an animal or a person dying that could have been helped or saved by this privileged society of window shoppers because that's what we're doing. We're looking in nice windows at nice things while our fellow beings, our fellow earthlings, people and animals are suffering and dying. And we're just happy to get a nice new addition to our kitchen. And believe it or not, the picture is from the one spot at Target. I know, I couldn't even believe it myself. Or a nice new addition to our home. Holy crap, it's as big as the wall. <laughs> Look at the size of that thing. It's gonna get mounted on the wall up there. And we're all guilty of it. And we all deserve self-actualization. We all deserve to live the life that we want. But the level to which we are worshiping materialism and the level to which we are being sucked into the material dimension, like I said, it's terrifying. Look at the size of this that you stand there. Like, leave your arm up like that. Even spiritual people and motivational speakers and leaders and artists and creators, look at some of their homes. It's beyond what is morally appropriate. And I'm, I'm gonna be honest, I'm gonna call them out on it. It's beyond what is morally appropriate. Nobody needs a mansion. I'm serious. When you have children dying and animals dying, give your head a shake and ask yourself if anybody needs a mansion. Dying, the breath is leaving their lungs. Their eyes are rolling to the back of their head and they are dying. And people are buying homes with 25, 35, 45 rooms? What's happened to us? What are we doing? What are we doing with our lives? We have completely lost ourselves. Here we are in the lavish living room. telling you to sell everything you own, but I'm asking you to reassess how you're living and what you're living for and what you're serving. What are you serving here on this planet? Our addiction to materialism and our fascination and worship of materialism has actually structured our economy in a way where our economy depends on us continuing and perpetuating our addiction to the material world. People's jobs, people's ability to make a living is now dependent on us continuing to want more and more and more and more. We're gonna have to change. If the change that needs to happen on this planet means that we're going to have to create new jobs and change the way that we live, then that's just what we have to do. Change is difficult, but it's not nearly as bad as what we're doing right now and the effect that that's having on humanity as a whole. This is a reason to have a child. How cute is that? Super. Okay, that's my favorite. So this is what I think about shoes. You gotta have at least five pair. Take a picture of it on my arm. Hello, darling. You like it? Yeah. And we can change. We can choose to change. We can choose what we give our consciousness and our attention to and why. So wake, wake up. up and don't be controlled by this sensory perception that you have, which is the ability to see. Don't be controlled and hoard things into your reality because it looks nice. Don't live for that because that's not worth living for.